the last video, I talked about protections from termination for whistleblowers. Here, I'm going to talk about a second type of whistleblowing case, one where you become aware that someone, often it's a current or former employer, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, is cheating the government. In this type of case, you get a bounty, which is a percentage of the amount the government saves as a result of your whistleblowing actions. These awards can be huge, tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars. But you have to tread very carefully because these cases are very complex and you have to take exactly the right steps to preserve your rights to the best possible award. What are some issues and wrinkles? First, we're talking about the government, but what does government mean when we talk about whistleblowing? It means any branch of the United States government or any branch of any state government that has its own whistleblowing laws, and most states do. Also, and this is critical, government includes contractors to the government. So if your employer, who never sells anything directly to the government, sells fraudulent aircraft parts to a manufacturer that sells aircraft to the government, you may be entitled to a whistleblowing award. Next, what does cheating mean? Almost any type of fraud or deception that causes the government not to get everything it pays for at the price it agreed to pay is cheating. The types of industry and the types of cheating are almost limitless. They include the defense industry, healthcare services, prescription drugs sold through Medicare, public works products, and let's not forget tax cheating, which is a special type of whistleblowing case. Cheating can be on a huge scale, such as lying about the specifications of a public bridge or building, or can be on a small scale, such as selling nuts and bolts that don't meet the government specifications. Another issue is that the whistleblower has to be the cause of the cheater getting caught and the government saving money. You can't take something you see on TV and become a whistleblower. You have to be the one to expose the cheating. How can you expose the fraud on the government and make sure you receive the largest possible whistleblowing award? That's where we come in. Helping you preserve your rights and obtain these valuable awards is a demanding specialty. If you know of a company or person who is cheating the government, please give us a call. It's always free. We want to help you.